This is my LA60BL clone. I built this basically from scratch. The chassis is a JTM45 chassis that I modified to suit this. It's a 60 watts output, 312AX7s, you know, your standard, what you would see in the late 60s. You got treble channel, high and low, bass channel, high and low, gain one, gain two, treble, bass, mid, um, volume, presence, and then standby power. Uh, this transformer is from a Dynakit Stereo 70. If we look on the back here, it says Dynaco A470. Power transformer, it's some, I don't know, I bought it on eBay. It works. The voltage is... The original voltage on this right off the rectifier is 590 volts. I have probably 500 volts there. I don't think that affects a different much. I believe in the reissue, the 2016 reissue, 2017 reissue maybe, uh, the heat, the uh, B plus voltage was dropped a little bit. So this is uh, the internals, the turret board, bought on eBay pre-made, just a 60 pin turret board, and I came up with this layout by looking at pictures I found on Reverb of an original LA60BL, uh, then I reverse engineered the layout, and after I had that drawn up, I created this, I created the new layout based off of the 60 pin turret board. The biggest problem that I had was definitely the shielded cable. Until I bought this super good, like, silver wrap shielded cable. This is premium stuff. I think I got that on Mojo Tone, maybe? But, but before I got that, the shielded cable was just, like, the signal would just short to ground every time I moved the amp in some random place. So I had to switch all that out, every single shielded cable connection. But it, it's good now. It's good now. I tried to do my best to keep everything neat, but this is only my second full tube amp build, so, you, you know, I, I think I did alright. I would go back and rewire those heaters someday. So this amplifier is basically an exact replica, except for the output transformer. That was a partridge, uh, something, something, something. It was a partridge transformer in the uh, original. And that I, I guess the lore is that, that that transformer is the secret sauce of the supergroup amps, but I don't really have access to that, so I'm work work with what I got here. So uh, you can hear Tony Iommi using the 60 watt version of the supergroups on the basement tapes. So that's Black Sabbath, Walpurgis, and then there's a few live recordings. 1970 1971 where he uses these live the 60 watt version and the only the only real difference between the 60 watt version and the 100 watt version is the 100 watt version has more headroom so i can get pretty close to um the, the the tone of the studio tracks the only problem with getting really close is that the speaker cab i did not build to la412 dimensions i just have random eminent speakers I had lying around and it's not made of the best wood but you know it, it does its job to go with this I built this uh, experimental treble booster it is part for part a range master clone but I changed the 470k and 68k bias resistors to potentiometers and I've also been fiddling around with trying different transistors. That's a 2N4354 right now. You know, it sounds pretty good. I, I, I got to close this up eventually, but I'm just experimenting with it right now. So that is um, modified, kind of. I biased it really well, so it has a lot of gain. And I also use a 12-volt battery pack for a little bit more gain. 
So it's, it's similar to Iomi's modified treble booster in a way. And yeah, I'm gonna post some demos and, uh, oh, this is my guitar, by the way. This is like a, a Les Paul studio built in like 1991, I think. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. Again, shout out to the Laney Service Department. They really answered a lot of my questions and helped me out on this build. Uh, th thanks for watching.